Oh, hello. It's a week of first this week, isn't it? We've had our first really bad frost here, well, here in, in, um, in the Banbury re region. Um, the cars were absolutely frozen. I couldn't even get my car door open this morning. And he'd gone off early, so um, he normally does the cars for me. Or oh, my car. <laughs> I got a little master, and it was absolutely frozen. I couldn't open any door. So luckily, I'd taken out a flask of hot water. And um, that softened it after about, well, it got the car's doors opening about 10 minutes after 10 minutes of uh, scrubbing down. And, um, and then I you know, started the engine. And after about another 10 minutes, I managed to um, clean up the inside of the car, which was very cold too. And the outside was, of course, still frozen. So I suppose it took me a good just over a good 20 minutes this morning to get the car going, but that was okay. And then um, then I was able to go off. And I wasn't actually late. I thought I was going to be late, but I wasn't. And, yes, another first today. I um, It was the first... Actually, it wasn't the first for everybody else. It was first for me, my first exercise session of, of, the, of the year. Um, I missed last week because, actually, I thought it wouldn't be running, but it was, so I missed that session. But anyway, never mind, it was fine. Got back to exercising. And it was one of those um, uh, Rosemary Connolly classes. I think they do nutrition as well, but I just go for the exercise. I, yes, <laughs> my nutrition is okay. So that was fine. So it was actually great fun. I do love doing exercises. And I'm always saying to everybody, it's the first thing that goes, you know, if you get busy and you're doing lots of stuff or you don't fancy it or you're whatever, you put off going to exercise classes and it's the last thing you should do. It's so good for you. Just make you feel so good. Just those little endorphins jiggling about inside and you instantly feel better. So anyway, that was great fun. So, um, and I went with a couple of girlfriends from the book club. So that was good fun too. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to my next one already. I used to line dance every week and I loved it. And that was, um, that was really very useful for all sorts of good reasons. So anyway, now we've started another regime, so that's great. And last night at book club, yes, we discussed Mrs. Gaskell's Ruth. And um, I think it went down quite well with most people. It was, I found it quite a difficult, stodgy book to read. <laughs> Very sad story. Um, I, I guess the heroine was bound to die in the end. She was too good, too beautiful, too lovely, and probably... I was going to say too innocent. I don't know if you can be too innocent. <laughs> She, she just was doomed, I think, to die, although I hadn't realised that. And I didn't actually realise that she did die. I thought it was her son, in fact, who died. And, oh, I found out the reason why she didn't accept the marriage proposal from the child's father. She didn't accept him and his offer because she thought she, he would lead her son astray. He, he wasn't a good influence, obviously, <laughs> from her point of view, but she didn't really think. She could trust him with her son, um, and her son was her darling. So it's a very interesting book, historic book, good book to read. I haven't read, I've only read North and South by Mrs. Gaskell, so I you know, lots of other books to read. I've had there's far too many books to read. I, I've come home with another one from our series, and another one's arrived from, from Amazon today. Um, yes, I do buy books from Amazon, because I couldn't possibly afford to buy you know, books from a, a bookshop every time I just couldn't manage it so um, and I even go to the Oxfam shop so our next book which is um, Hemingway's The Old Man and the Sea that also came from um, the Oxfam bookshop in Banbury which I, I love that shop I like all the Oxfam bookshops because they have a wonderful array of books and I know the authors don't get you know they're, they're full cut for the book but there's well, I couldn't afford it, and I do try and buy new books whenever I can to sort of restore a balance. But you just, well, I just can't. And it's, you just have to read, and you, you can't always get the books from the library. Or you have to wait for them. Um, it's probably not a good reason. No, I mean, libraries are wonderful too, and I think they should be <laughs> great. And I've been going to the library ever since I was, oh, five, I think, so that's a long time ago. I'm not going into that. Totally unnecessary. So there we are. So we had a really good day. So we had my exercise session. We had the frosted cars to deal with. And um, then I came home and I was um, typing up an article. And I've um, 
done something to my machine and now it won't work and I I've written an article and I was going to pop it onto one of my blog sites and now I can't and I'm really rather irritated. Yes, actually I'm not the cross and he's not available to help sort it out so I, I've just got to stop so it's back to handwriting for some more stuff for later on. And um, oh yes, and I haven't done any cooking yet because I was going to do some cooking. So so that hasn't happened. So um, so I'm trying to rise above it all. I'm going to take Alice for a walk in a minute. And do you know I've suddenly realised I haven't seen any several oranges in the shops yet. So I don't know whether I've missed them all completely, or there aren't any this year, or I don't know. So I should go to Sainsbury's and see if they've had any. Yes, I think that would be good. Go and have a walk. Then we've got something from Marks and Sparks for supper tonight, so that's good. I do want to make some... <clears throat> I made some cookies the other day, um, buckwheat cookies, and they weren't bad. They weren't quite right, but they weren't bad, so I need to fiddle with the recipe again. But we do have the scones that I made on the weekend, but I'm trying not to eat those. And the cake I made, I gave away, so that's good. Too <laughs> easy to eat. Well... There we are. Um, I'm going to go and give Alice a walk now before it gets too dark and too cold. And I hope you have a good day. E e good evening. And um, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow or sometime. Okay, bye for now. Bye.